<laughs> one thing I want to get into, um, while the whole world or the whole planet is on fire, is that <laughs> one place is Good actually <laughs> on fire, um, Australia. And I wanted mm-hmm. to do a little uh, piece right here. So this, okay, oh, wow. is it's so bad that satellites, this is a Japan satellite called the Himawari, I, I, I'm probably butchering it, mm-hmm. um, satellite, uh, Himawari 8 satellite took this picture. Wow. And you can see how red Australia is. And uh, there's a whole smoke cloud. They said the smoke plume, they call it a plume, mm-hmm. is currently the, the one that's stemming from Australia. Yep. is half the size of Europe. Holy shit. Half. I've, think been, of, I've been to Europe, too. It's big. Think of <laughs> all of Europe and how freaking massive that is. It's They say it's a human cause climate mm-hmm. disruption. Yep. They say, like, m- actually, most fires in general that are happening now is because of the climate change yep. and how dry everything is becoming. And like the California wildfires and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. And uh, they said that in Australia right now, 14 million acres of land are affected. Wow. Half a billion animals Half gone. a billion. Half a billion. Five hundred million. Holy shit! And no. it's displaced. Does that count insects hunt- or no? Is it I don't just animals? So. I think it's just animals. Anim- like yeah, fully grown. Which is crazy animals. if you think because I, I'm sure uh, just thinking about Australia being an American, so I, I don't mm-hmm. know anything beyond just looking from the outside. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they have they have animals that no one else has because it's that continent. Well, that's by what itself. I was thinking too. Because okay, for for those of you that know that I don't know anything. Yeah. I'm going to say it like that. When I heard about the Australian fires and I was seeing memes about death taking away koalas and kangaroos and stuff like that through natural cause, I didn't think it was that fucking gigantic. Yeah. It's literally, when you look at the picture, it's on the outskirts of Australia, almost like honing Going in towards in, yeah. the center. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for 500 million animals to become deceased after wildlife fires, like fucking sad, it's, man. It's and, be- and it might lead to the extinction of most of those animals. Many, yeah, I'm many, sure. You yeah. know what I mean? Koalas because and kangaroos. I don't. I don't know if they're anywhere else they or if re- they local to oh, Australia. I don't but but the thing is, you got to think of Pangaea. Yep. When it first existed, and then as it broke away, mm-hmm. all these different continents starting started to form on its own kind of. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it kind of branched off and all the animals had to adapt because now that continent you got to think think of Pangaea how much it like it kind of expanded yep. all, across the across the earth. Um at some point they were at some point of the equator, which is a different climate. Correct. And to kind of shift all those hundreds of thousands of miles well, that's or whatever like miles. Also mile, the idea miles. of natural selection yeah. like the you know the survival of the fittest because I, when that broke apart, I'm sure there were so many animals that ended up dying yeah. and not being able to adjust to the climate and then the ones that could are the ones that survived they're still here and it's it, you got to think too um i think they were saying that part of the reason why everything broke apart is because of the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs is that is that what something, it is i don't know i could be wrong <laughs> we someone have to look it up <laughs> yeah someone, someone look it up in comments since we uh now <laughs> have comments on the podcast but this is uh part of the satellite that took look at this look how red that is holy shit huh that's baffling. That how is much. baffling. To see that from space is just it just I, I don't get it. I don't yeah. get it. No, absolutely. Cause you gotta think, you can't um you can't see buildings from space. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just see the land. So to be able to see something manifesting up from the continent is that's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Well think think about most build almost every building mm-hmm. or every city, you don't really see the city. No. No, not at all. You, you don't just, even see an outline of it. You just yeah. see like more of the topography, if, yeah. the, if that's the yeah. correct yeah, phrase. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's sad to see. That's scary. Um, you know, our prayers out to Australia. I know they just recently. I think it was. It must be in the last couple of days, um, or within the last couple of days. Could have been just yesterday or today. But um, th- they just got like the first like rain in forever. And yep. they're getting a torrential downpour to kind of hopefully put an end to some of the fires. I know it's not going to put everything out, but yeah. And I, I know mean, a lot of local, not local, but like nationally known celebrities oh! are. <laughs> I gotta look something up real quick. Why are you um, using your phone again during the podcast? It's okay. Huh? It's okay. Is it about the woman? Yeah. Yeah. There Do was you- a woman by the name of something. Justin's gonna be able to yeah. look it up. And it was this girl who is famous on Instagram yeah. and Twitter. Yep. And she said, I will give my exposed nude photos to those of you who donate. And she had raised over 700000 
or uh, no, yeah, seven hundred thousand more than that now. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was seven hundred thousand no, dollars. She broke over a million dollars. Oh wow! So over a million dollars, saying if you donate, I will give you some of my nudes. Pretty much like that's how it went to go. And now she's being banned off of Twitter, off of Instagram. And her parents are like disowning her. Her parents too. are disowning her, and she's raising money for a good cause. I mean, you know, she the what she said at first is she said I will give ten. Uh, uh, if you give me ten dollars, if you donate ten dollars to like my personal donation to Australia, I will send you nude pictures. Yeah, and then kind of promote it with like a kind of a risque picture, like on Twitter. Yeah, like, you know, like with a emoji covering, you know, certain parts. Yeah, and then she got she obviously like fulfilled a lot of the demands at first, mm -hmm. and then she went viral. Yeah, and then now she's raised over a million dollars, and she's being taken off news. of. All the social media platforms being disowned by her parents. I didn't know about I know. that. Yeah, but, yeah. It's, <laughs> she wrote about it. She like made. You gotta a tweet. feel bad for someone like that. You know what I mean? I, granted, it's not the best way to raise money, <laughs> giving out nude photos of yourself. <laughs> but if you're raising over a million dollars, like, it's, oh, it's, I don't know. All right. And like, it's just so fun. Well, it's it's I don't know. It's sad to see. It's 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 funny to see like two negatives kind of like make a positive i guess yeah I no know. i guess not, not a bad you know bad way but it's just it's just really i don't know it's i found it interesting <laughs>